The setup for X-Men 97 is a continuation of the original series, more or less beginning with the reveal of Professor Xavier's ambiguous fate from the season five finale. Was the event always, was that event always the jumping off point for X-Men 97 or were there other ideas in mind during the show's conception? Uh, I, that's a great question. I can't speak to that fully because of that, you know, 30, Watching watching graduation day, right? And and going, you know, you're, you're left in such that pocket, right? Like, is Xavier gonna die? Who, is, you know, is his bird girlfriend gonna help him? Uh, is Magneto gonna turn over a new leaf? Are the X-Men leaderless? What happens when you know, Xavier's just been ousted as a mutant publicly? Like, what, by the time I came on, the show already knew those, that's that circular thought of questions that we were all wanting uh, to know. Okay. They are, by the time I came on, they, they knew that's where the show was the jumping off point um and you know and and that that was in the when i came on that was in the story bible and the first script you know written and, and um drafted by bodomeo to for for their overall vision that's that's where they knew where the sandbox was to to play in uh my goal or my job when when i was brought on was to help visually figure out where that sandbox falls and lies and then you know in tandem with the stories and where we're picking up uh, picking up where, where things left off what's you know what's too modern what's too aged you know where, right. where's that where's that fresh but familiar that show you remember uh but also a show that is that can compete with modern audiences and modern sensibilities right so uh yeah that's thank goodness that was figured out where they wanted to land the show before i got put on <laughs> <laughs> makes it a little bit easier for you to come aboard right yeah, j j just a tad. You know, th there was plenty of other things. You know, when I when I came on board, my job was to, you know, uh, one direct the first episode, um, but also help staff up the team, look for artists, figure out you know who's who's in tandem with X Men, who loves X Men. You know, uh, learning the way Marvel animation works, learning the way you know how we do scripts. So yeah, there there was a there's plenty of other things to <laughs> to worry about while uh, while starting starting the show. Right on, man. So back in the day, other series like Spider-Man, the animated series, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Fantastic Four, and so on, were part of the same universe as X-Men. Is there another Marvel character or team you'd like to see cross over with X-Men 97? Absolutely. Can't say though. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, all right. <laughs> uh, what about this one? Without spoiling anything, is there a particular story arc from the comics that you'd personally like to see make it onto the show? This one, mm, this is a hard one to answer because it just so happens some a lot of the stuff I was, may or may not be stuff that may be coming out in the show. Uh, you could say that too. Yeah, that that's that's probably what I'll say. That's that's what I'll stick to. Is is uh, there's a lot of stories that I am looking forward to for the audience to see being brought to life. Right. So I know you said that there was a lot of things that were already decided once you came on. Uh, the team in X-Men 97 is comprised of some of the greatest mutants in Marvel's arsenal. Was the team decided from the start or did they toy around with the roster a little bit before they got going? Uh, the co the core team was decided from the start. Uh, you know, it, it, it's always it's always about the core core team, blue team, gold team, right? Um, but in that in that vein, you know, that's that's where we had a chance to you know to to you know as we were there, as I was going through with story and, and you know, art and figuring stuff out, the thoughts of change, you know, swapping out a character here or there for the roster, you know, that that always happens. But at the end of the day, it, you know, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty determined on who the show was going to focus on, who was going to be in the roster. You know, the fact that you know, we wanted Bishop to be more more proud of part of the roster. Nightcrawler eventually joining the roster. You know, because uh, um, you know, to be fair to that too. We had five seasons and 30 years of the core team. You know, yes, let's bring the core team back, but also there's so many mutants 
There's so many characters in the X-Men animated series was the MCU before the MCU became the MCU, right? Yeah. So uh in that vein, it's 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 ingrained in the DNA of the show to have, you know, characters and cameos. We got to stay true to that too. Uh so, you know, to to bring it back a little bit to that, uh I I can't wait for said cameos and characters uh to appear and make the audiences happy hopefully that's awesome yeah so i've only seen the first three episodes so far but one thing that stands out to me about x-men 97 is how much it feels like the show never left the air i was really kind of taken aback by that i was expecting more changes uh from the onset and that's really not the case it's like being transported back to the 90s in many regards. Was it difficult to mentally turn the clock back 30 plus years to ensure the authenticity of the show? Was it difficult? No. To, to, to make that decision? Absolutely not. Uh, it, again, we, we have 30 years of reference uh, and, and, you know, uh, we, we've just grown so much as an industry, as storytellers, as story listeners, right? As, as artists. Um, so it, the, the, oh, we know what we have to do. That wasn't hard. That, that was relatively easy. How we accomplished it, that's where the challenge, you know, came in. And that's where, you know, it, it involving a monumental team effort from, from the top down, from, from story to, uh, you know, from script to storyboards, to directing, to animation, to post, to everything that's, it's all done on purpose, you know. Uh, just what I can speak to, uh, look, uh, visually is what 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 we did was uh, I had had our team visually study like what were between ninety six and ninety eight. What were the films of the time? What what were the what was considered cinematic of the time? What, what were the lenses they were using? How were things being directed? What were, what was being done in anime? What was being done in TV animation? What was being done in TV live action? What was being done in regular? You know just finding what the commonalities and, and what makes it, oh, this feels 90s because X, you know, and, and incorporating that into our visual language for the show, whether it's, you know, the subtle chromatic aberration that we do on the sides or the uh, the hand done frame judder that we have, you know, when things were on celluloid or VHS transfer, that subtle, you know, image just fits. Oh, hey, cool, thumbs up. <laughs> uh, that long. That's right on. Your Jubilee. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I wish I knew that was a thing. Dang. Um, but you know, like all those things are meticulously thought up, conjured, drawn, noted, you know, to, to get where we're at. And that was that. And I'm glad you said that it feels like the show never left because that was the goal. That's been the mission statement from day one, from the Bible, from the scripts, from, you know, from when I was first signed on and, and met with Bo to, to now that's always been, it's, you the goal is to go from the og show right into ours or for new audiences start with our show go to the og show you know and and just to feel like oh these are all because they're all one cohesive you know thing because again uh, at the end of the day this is a revival you know it's it's not a reboot it's not it's not a new thing it, it's it's a it's an extension it's a spiritual successor it's a it's a continuation so we gotta do that Right on, man. Well, mission accomplished. Thank Congratulations you. on the launch. And uh, I suspect that it'll go very, very well with the fans. And thank you so much for your time and, and hanging out with us today. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. And on behalf of the team, thank you uh, for, for loving the stuff we hope you guys do. All right, man. Cheers. To me, my X-Men. Don't miss the all-new X-Men 97, now streaming only on Disney+.